Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Hot Girl Hobbies and today we're playing with air dry clay. This has been a trend that I've seen on TikTok for a hot second of people buying these big, well I believe this one's five pounds of clay and then just making little things with them, little trinkets here and there. But something that I'd like to touch on a little bit is just what we're gonna be doing with this clay as I, I don't know, mush it together to make it easier to work with. I am not a pottery expert. I took the class for like two months, like every other day or whatever it was. I'm going to try to make magnets for my fridge. So they're gonna be nice and small and I want them to be cute little fruit. And then clay does take two to three days to dry fully. Well, this will have to be something we come back to. And then I want to paint it, super glue magnets onto it, and then put it on my fridge. So that's my ultimate goal. I guess I'll get started. What fruit should I make first? What about like a tomato? That could be pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little ball of clay just roll it in my hands. I want it to be pretty circular, but not perfectly circular because the tomato is not. Do you see this? Now I need like a tool, something to jab this with. How about a pencil? I'm just gonna make a little notch on top, like this. I've actually been really excited for this. I ordered this clay on Amazon a few days ago, and I don't know, clay is just super fun. So I think I've created the stem for the tomato. It's super small. I'm just gonna put this on. Oh my gosh! Do you know what could be useful? Some water to like soften this up, but I will get that later. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take more, continue to like roll it into little pieces. Just too big. This is too big. Let me put this in my pack. This creates great skill. Oh, this is kind of hard for a girl who shakes, but I'm getting it down. Oh my gosh. Those are not the same size. No. This is, oh, damn. This is like kind of becoming stressful. Okay. I have a little tomato. I think he's adorable. So I'm just gonna send to the side and make my next fruit, which will be an orange. Can it be as simple as this? And then I like navel hangers. It's got like a little butt, just like the tomato. And then I want this to be textured. I'm gonna use the edge of this paint because that's like little lines on it. How's that for an orange? I am sure, ooh, it's actually quite small compared to the tomato. Let's go crazy. Okay, so for this one, I needed something more circular like this. This one's got a bigger opening. Honestly, if we take into consideration how much clay I bought and how little I'm going to use it right now, I could have bought a smaller amount. But if I like it, I do have plenty of opportunity with the five gallon bucket to create more. So this is something that might take you a bit to go through unless you're creating like huge pieces which maybe we can try. I don't love how this looks. Okay, well, here's my green olive. Is my garnish too big? Is that how they look? Then we have to do some colors. So we have something red, orange, something green. We need something yellow, like an banana. Do we think I have the skill to make a banana? Does this look like a banana? Maybe it will when it's painted. I gotta add like the little top thing on it. Guys, we might have to scrap the banana. What else is yellow? A lemon. That's just another circle. That should be kind of easy. Is it gonna be weird if the lemon's bigger than the orange? Why is this so hard? But guys, be so fucking real with me right now. Does this look like a lemon? I need to like smoothen it. Oh, okay, saliva works great when you have to smoothen it. Drop that down. So now I'm trying to think about what to make next. I'm thinking of flowers. Like flowers could be good, right? So I'm just gonna try to shape them all to look like this piece, all my petals. This is definitely something where it's like, the more you do it, the better you're gonna be. But 
We don't do hobbies twice here. We okay, I have my five petals done. I'm gonna make like the center circle. Okay, perfect. This, this, this one, there, there. Ooh, that is ugly. Need saliva. There's a crease. No, it's not good. Wowie! Wow, I'm actually incredibly scared to move this right now. I don't think. I'm gonna hold up. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Cute! Well, should I actually make something crazy? Should I try to make like a vase or a bowl? I don't know for what. I don't really have anything to put it in, maybe just for fun. So I gotta flatten this down then. <laughs> I need a rolling pin. Do I own a rolling pin? Oh, I own Mod Podge. Bring this up off my desk. I don't think it's thin enough. And I know there's also. Oh my god, do you know what we should make this look like? We should try and make this look like a dumpling. We're gonna take it and pretend like this is it. So we're gonna take it. Over. I'm just trying to create like a ruffle effect. Oh my god, it's not fucking working now. Guys, ask me if I've ever made a dumpling before. Have not. So I don't even know how to do this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I do. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh no. Does that look like a dumpling you fucking want to eat? This is a good try. Join me back here. And by back here, I mean probably for you in like 10 seconds and for me two to three days while we wait for this to dry. I'll give you a tour of it actually before we end. Wow, they're so beautiful. So we have the flower. Ooh, oh fuck. I fucked that up. The green olive, the lemon, which is looking like a watermelon. So maybe we'll have to make a change. A tomato and our navel orange. So we'll wait for this to dry and then we'll come back to it. Welcome back to another day. All my pieces are nice and dry. So we have the flower, the tomato, which gave me troubles. The leaves fell off and I had to like stick them back on. We have the lemon that doesn't really look like a lemon, the orange and the green olive. We're gonna paint today and I think we're gonna start with the flower just to figure out what we wanna do. So I want this to like kind of look not real, but like replicate like a real flower. So I'm thinking yellow and black. There is a scenario where you have to buy all the paint you're using for this activity, which would make it more expensive, but this is just paint I've had like laying around since high school. So there are no worries on spending this. I think I went through a painting phase like during COVID. So that's why I have all of this, but it hasn't been used since like COVID. All right, one week petal is painted. So I'll just go through and do all of this for the petals. <gasps> oh no, we've had our first casualty. Oh no, we had our second casualty. No, 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 no. Can I stick it back on is the question using saliva. <gasps> no! No! No, no, no! I'm hoping for better luck with these. Let's start with the green olive. Oh my gosh, that was devastating. So maybe I need to be more gentle. I didn't think I was being very aggressive, but apparently I must have been to an extent. Now I have like these Crayola paints. This has this really light shade of green, which I think is gonna be perfect for the olive. Huh? Huh? I think that's pretty good. Now we gotta watch me be a shaky girl as I try to paint this. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking so bad. Maybe I can paint it as it's on the plate. It's moving around a lot. Ooh, this may be harder than I thought, guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to come back to that because it's not really working. 
This one might be easier to paint. The lemon, yellow. The yellow I have out already, maybe. I can't believe we've already had one fail. Well, not we. I suppose you're probably doing well. I had a fail. I was really looking forward to that flower too, which is devastating. So note to self, don't get emotionally attached until they're finished. Okay, that's as like as good as I can get the lemon right now. The orange. Ooh, I'm like out of orange. Oh, this is a very thick paint. I need like water. That gross. Ooh, well, it's back to a better texture, so I don't think I care. These magnets are for my fridge using my paint. So I can spit into whatever I want to spit in. That's like our first close to successful one. Oh, and last but not least, the tomato. Okay, the tomato we have to be really gentle with because, well, she was like breaking last time. No! This one broke too. All right, well, let's just paint around it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna be like a pottery prodigy. I'm not. Okay, well, we got the leaves painted on the tomato. It's holding on together for dear life. This might need like a second layer. All these might need, need a second layer of like everything. And I guess that's just the way it's gonna be. Oops, stuck my finger in the green. Yeah, that's a good tomato red. Okay, well here's what we have going so far for the tomato with its backside that you can't see completely untouched. But I think we're gonna have to call that our painting of the fruits for a little bit, just so they can dry off and and work on the other side, so they are super cute. The flower. Let's go back to that, shall we? I believe I have glue. So I have some Gorilla Super Glue. I'm thinking we're gonna try to super glue this baby back together because I'm not ready to retire it yet. This could go really bad. I don't know if I trust myself with super glue with a tremor. Wow, super glue is really potent. I think if I put super glue on it, I can still paint it. Let me show you what the flower looks like. I'm gonna have to move you because I don't trust moving the flower. Keep my hair out of it. Here's what we got for the flower. And here's what we got for the fruits so far. So we'll let the paint dry on these for an hour or so and we'll come back and see if we can finish them out. And hopefully the flower will be restored. Sorry about the lighting, but it's later in the day because I went ahead actually and finished painting these up off camera. Just, you know, what else was I gonna do? So I'll show you what they look like and then we'll move on to the next step. Good news, uh, the super glue worked and the flower is back together and it is adorable. I love it so much. Then we have our fruits, the lemon, it's just yellow. The orange is just orange. Um, the tomato is looking rough, not my favorite. And then we have the green olive, which is actually kind of cute. So what we're going to do now is we are going to super glue a magnet strip onto them. We're gonna start off with my flower first. Pretty good hunk of room I have. Take this, peel it up measure it just a tad bit. Then we have a strip like this. So part of it is just the magnet and then on the back side, it has an adhesive. Do I trust this adhesive enough to hold on tight to my magnet? No. That's where Gorilla Glue comes into place. This bad boy on. I'm gonna just pop that bad boy on there. All right, remove that to the side to dry. We'll do the lemon and the orange. Like a little graduation cap, move that to the side. All right, the adhesives are all on, so let's test if these work on my fridge. Wow, see how cute that is? Now that we have our magnets done, let's talk about how much this project cost. So, our air dry clay cost $10.62. Our Gorilla Glue cost $4.47. You know, Monstrous Magnet Strip cost $3.12, which comes out to just under $20 as our total, which I don't think is very expensive at all for this hobby, especially when you consider what you get out of this. You get a five pound bucket of clay, which we barely scraped the surface on. The Gorilla Glue was a two pack, 
and our magnet strip is like 10 feet long or something like that. So it's just gigantic portions for the price you're paying, which I think is really nice. And of course, if you don't have paint, that will cost you more money on top of this, but since I already own this, I'm not gonna add it to my price of the hobby. For price, that's pretty good. I think I would give it three out of five dollar signs. You know, you're still spending quite a bit of money. $20 is a lot, depending on who you are. Some of them can be free. So I think it's only right to give it three out of five. For duration, this was a multiple day project when Honestly, I kind of only wanted it to be one, but we just couldn't do that since the clay had to dry. So I'm going to give duration a four out of five because it, it did take a long time. It wasn't weeks, but it was days. And then for contentness, happiness, I'm gonna be honest, I think this project caused me more stress than it didn't. By far, the magnet that turned out the best was the flower. But overall, this hobby was pretty fun. I'm glad I get, gotta give it a try. You know, hot girl hobbies, air dry clay, you gotta love it, so that was always fun. And if you learned something new, learned a new hobby you wanna find, or you just found the video cool, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and comment what hobby I should try next. Maybe I'll try your favorite hobby. And bye guys, as always, thank you for watching.